another wet, dreary day is dawn. Once the kids are off to school, sorted out the other two younger ones. Sort of got me thinking, what should I do for the day? So I sorted out feeding the fish. Fed the chickens and got them all situated. And this has led me to now, still not sure what I want to do for the day. It's nearly 11.30, the rain's finally stopped. But I wanted to ask people, are you somebody who lives with chronic pains, back pains, joint pains, whatever it may be? Now, although I live a pretty full-on life generally, um, with going hunting, fishing, diving, absolutely hammering my body with everything I do, um, it is something that I live with every day. I turned out um, a few years ago I went in and got a MRI done back in 2016 I think it was um, because I woke up one morning and it felt like my spinal cord was on fire um, it turned out that I was diagnosed with having uh, what's called Sherman's disease or Sherman's disease something something like that anyway look it up um, if you're unsure but basically what it is is growing too quickly as a kid and instead of your discs in your back being sort of a rectangular cylindrical shape um, they now become wedged so they more become a triangular shape and that has led to um, cartilage deterioration quite badly between the discs and then also I have uh, torn and pulled all of my ligaments in my knees, both knees, um, I had been diagnosed when I was 15, 14 with early onset osteoarthritis in my knees um, and then just recently I've been having over the past sort of six months to a year I've been having really bad issues with my back again and it has also started to travel, um, the pain has started to travel into my shoulders, my hips, um, yeah, the bulk of my body um, it's also affecting my ribs which I've pretty much broken every single rib in my body um, through sport um, but yeah it is something that is annoying because they keep blaming COVID for the um, changes to the way specialists work in that now I was referred to go and see a rheumatologist uh, but because my blood test results came back as um fairly good, they pretty much are turning around and stating that they reckon that I have nothing wrong with my body, um, or at least I don't meet the threshold for them to warrant seeing me publicly. So basically the way that the letter is worded is as if I was to whip out money and give it to them, they'd happily see me, but because I want to go through the public health system because I can't afford to go private, they basically don't want anything to do with me. So what happened was I had blood tests done a while back nothing really showed up and then the rheumatologist letter came home the other day um, and it showed on there that my ANA results or anti-nuclear antibodies um, were at 320 which is uh, that's like the top 3% of healthiest people um, basically have uh, ANA of that high so they're saying that my body is extremely healthy which <laughs> To me, I don't really understand with the amount of issues that I have with my joints and all of that sort of thing. And then if you were to look at my diet, the way I eat, you wouldn't call it healthy because I barely eat any vegetables. I pretty much strictly eat meat. Um, I try and minimize sugar to a absolute, like absolutely nothing almost. Um, minimize carbohydrate intake because another issue I've been having is I... Um, started getting gastritis quite bad a while ago so pretty much I can't eat any bread anymore um, because it upsets my stomach a lot uh, and then um, yeah in that blood test result too my double strand DNA though came back as a level of 132 which they said that the cutoff for them to see me is 100 so I'm assuming that the way that those levels work is the lower your double strand DNA 
the worse it is. But what I'm reading about this double strand DNA, I don't really understand because that is stating that it is bad. Um, like it's, it's a bad thing to have show up in your blood test. So I'm not 100% sure. But I'm just wanting to put it out there. Um, if anybody that's watching this suffers from any, you know, chronic pains and joint pains and inflammation or that sort of thing in your joints, what are you doing to help? Um, it's, it's just something that I'd, I'd like to see in the comments of anybody that is, um, you know, having issues with it, what they're doing that may be helping alleviate the pain a little bit. Um, a while back I went on to a carnivore diet and now that definitely did help with um, joint pain like decreasing dramatically. But then my issue with being on a strictly carnivore diet the way everything goes for me is I didn't want to push it for too long um, due to the fact that I know it can cause other issues down the track for some people with getting heart disease or those sorts of issues. So it's something I didn't want to push too much. But then the research I've been doing um, is basically stating that I should probably start eating more like kale, um, was it kale silver beet like just leafy green vegetables um continue eating the meat um le le my, like my lean wild meat that i eat because that's pretty much all i eat i don't really eat any store-bought meat um yeah and then like fish and all that sort of thing which of course is coming as summer approaches so yeah if anybody out there um suffers from any of these sorts of chronic pain issues Please drop it in the comments and let me know um, what you're doing to help yourself uh, because the more information I can gather the better because quite clearly the public health system here in New Zealand is just continuing to fail um, and, and doesn't want to give me any help which has been a problem I've had for well over 10 years now. Um, basically they yeah, every time I go in to try and get something sorted out um, they don't want to know anything about it. I tried to get surgery done on my knees to sort them out. Um, they basically turned around and said because of my lifestyle and being young, they didn't want to do anything um, until basically got to the point that I couldn't walk anymore and it was the same with my back. Yet I know some guys or some people, even women, that were the same age or even younger than me, live a similar lifestyle. Um, their injuries weren't anywhere near as severe as mine, but they still got help through the public health system. So. Oh yeah, I, I, it completely baffles me why I can't get any help. But yeah, sorry for the ramble. Um, it's just something I wanted to put out there. And then also just so people are aware that maybe, you know, <laughs> I notice sometimes in my videos as well, I'm, I'm forever stretching and, and, and that sort of thing. So that's, that's the reason why is that, yeah. Um, it's something that I live with all the time and it is another reason why I prefer to stay self-employed because I can um, kind of more dictate when I work, where I work, what I do for work, that sort of thing and then it can help me to help not, I guess, um, fast track any more um, complications I may have with my body. But yeah, drop it in the comments and I will love yous and leave yous and I'll see you next time.